Hey guys, this is CG Animator, and this is the introduction video to Blender 2.5. As you can see, it looks a lot different, and this video is just to show you, you know, how to operate things, where things are now. It's just a really quick video to show, you know, get you used to it. So, as you can see here, they've changed the whole color scheme of it. It's a lot, it's darker now, which is nice because it's not as harsh on the eyes. Um, it takes a little getting used to because it's a huge change from what it used to be, but it's it's a nice change so first off the first thing you'll notice is that when you first start it up it's not the front view it's kind of the rotated view so you can actually tell it's a 3d object they changed the outline from pink to orange which is nice and um, they took away the bottoms the button window here and dragged it over here they added the outliner here which so you can select things from here and you can manage your objects better. They added a whole new tab here, which I'll get into in a little bit, and they added a timeline down here. Now, one thing that's very different is if you press X to delete the object and press space to add the object, this menu pops up and it's basically a bunch of controls that you can type in like let's say we want um let's say let's put an add you can see all this stuff, add driver, let's just press add text and it adds text and that's what that's for in case you can't find the shortcut because there are very there's kind of a lot of shortcuts in Blender so just delete that and so if you're asking yourself how do you add stuff it's easy, You can. there's two ways, you either go up to here and select add and the menu comes up or you can just press shift A and that comes up so shift A for add you know and they added a whole new button scheme here which is kinda cool it looks uh, looks a lot better and a little more modern here let's go ahead and add a let's say let's just add a monkey here just to show you guys uh... let's go into edit mode here you see that they have a bunch of you know different um, icons for things edit mode looks kinda cooler it's pretty nice and one thing they've changed now because I have Vista or I don't know if it's my computer or anything when I used to box select it would never show the crosshairs or the drag uh, the dragging of the box but now it does see I press B I can box select it's cool and I can also turn this button on which doesn't allow me to see any hidden geometry which is nice because before whenever I select anything this black red screen would come up they fixed that that's nice and let's go over here and check out some of this. These are the, um, the buttons tabs here. Like, uh, let's see, materials here. Let's go ahead and add a new material. It's not all that different. They changed the scrolling buttons to these things here, which is pretty nice. They just changed a couple things up here. Um, modifiers got their own um, tab here, and they've added a lot more modifiers like you see there's three different sections there's generate, deform, and simulate which is nice that they did that so like we'll have subsurf which is subdivision surface subsurf is a, it's just a shortcut it looks pretty nice, it's very nice got the particles here and if you want to add stuff it doesn't say add new it's just plus or minus now so you press plus it adds a particle system you know it's not that hard it's, it's really easy to get used to constraints here they got rid of the um, they got rid of a uh, certain things and replaced them with others but you should have no problem uh, getting used to it here we've got the display we can turn on wire here so we can see the wireframe with this shaded object or we can just have the wire here you know it's nothing nothing too different now one thing I do like that they've done is when you press F12 it automatically goes to the UV image editor and renders it out and it's really nice so if you want to go back you just press control up and then change this back to 3d view and it goes and it's back uh, I'm pretty sure there's a faster way to do that but uh, you know I'm, I'm still getting used to this too uh, here's a repeat history thing you can see the things you have did like you press history you can see all the things you've done and you can select it 
or you can repeat last like let's go into edit mode and let's extrude and move over here uh, actually that's a that's a bad example because you can't really repeat let's just do smooth or smooth here we go and see we can even we don't even need it every time you can just add smooth options here it's cool let's delete that oops see I'm still getting used to it press shift A and add a cube here some more things that they've done here press U subdivide here you can change the number of cuts at will you can increase or decrease them that's very nice you can recalculate the normals or flip them very nice Inst they added mark seam and clear seam here over here if you want um, smooth like it to be smooth you just turn on smooth shading here or flat shading here it's really nice and uh, you still got the same basic shortcuts here like control R for loop cuts um, B for box select things like that we just select this here uh, you got all kinds of stuff like that um, and you know I'm just showing you guys a quick quick version here you got the render scene here it's just it's it's a big improvement it takes a while to get used to but there should be no problems and everything's really really great I'm looking forward to making tutorials in this and uh, I'll be making a lot more advanced tutorials uh, 2010 the beginning of 2010 starting then because I get a I'm gonna get because right now I have a laptop so I'm gonna gonna get a either a stronger laptop or I'm gonna get a desktop computer so it'll be really nice tutorials and we can get into more advanced things and if you guys have any questions be sure to message me I always write back unless I don't understand the question and even then I ask you what you mean by that so feel free to ask anything you want and uh, if there are certain things that you would like me to cover on 2.5 like smoke tutorials which I'm gonna do uh, things like that be sure to message me so thanks guys and this is just the introduction and um, just a couple more tutorials be until I get my my other computer will be in blender 2.49 because my computer supports it better and uh, that's pretty much it uh, so thanks guys and be sure to watch the next one alright thanks